Yeah, it was that, and just uh, just you know, just the, the urgency that you want to see from a, from a young player in terms of coming off the ball and everything we do. Uh, he just had to learn how to play a little faster. How much is pushing him, encouraging him? How, how much is that part of every rookie's transition, and how much do you have to do that? Well, it's, it's, it's been some, you know, different forms of it in terms of me, you know, Coach Rabel. He's, he's been getting it from a lot of different directions, and some of it's been tough love, and some of it's been, you know, you know, just, you know, being in the classroom and, and, and showing it to him on tape. So he's gotten a little bit of everything. What was your reaction to that? I mean, just his mindset. He maybe didn't have to deal with that as much in college. What's, what's that been like for him? How many work so um, yeah, I think one of the biggest biggest hurdles for young players is, is being able to, to to make that leap in maturity in terms of you know how you prepare, um, you know how you conduct yourself in meetings. All of those things are you know are learned traits, um, and he's in the process of that. We always hear about the receivers needing to kind of adjust to your Mm -hmm. Josh, interestingly, we talked last week about Tannehill's willingness to adjust to the receivers in some situations. Is that maybe more of a two-way street than we think, or is Ryan unique in that way? Uh, you know what? I, I, I'll be honest with you. These guys, on, I, I think they do understand how lucky they are to have a quarterback like Ryan because there's some quarterbacks that, that don't like certain moves at the top of routes because they can't read it. His whole mantra is, man, get open, and I'll get you the ball. So anytime you have a quarterback like that, uh, it's easy to play with. Oh, that's the first thing they hear when they walk in this building. Um, there is no secret that, that they know that if they want to make this football team, they have to make a significant contribution to special teams. And um, that's something that Raves doesn't, you know, he doesn't hesitate to, to, to mention or make sure these guys really understand the importance of it. Even though that's away from your area of expertise, you still remind those guys in the room that special teams is, is part of what they, they're going to have to pick up? Yeah, listen, if you're, if you're not uh, AJ or Julio and you're sitting in the meeting room with me while special teams going on, you got a problem. So uh, those guys understand that. I, I was going to ask you about AJ Brown, just the leadership he's had in the past year or so. I was listening to him out there one day, kind of giving Dez some, mm -hmm. some words of advice. And right. How good is that to see out of a guy that doesn't think he's too big for, for that? Uh, as a coach, it always puts puts a smile on your face because you can see the growth, you see the maturity, um, and you know he sat in that seat. He's been where he's been, you know. So he's just trying to impart the the wisdom that was given to him, and just kind of passing it on, trying to help shorten his learning curve.